Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about an exciting new development in the world of web-based geographic information systems, or GIS, web mapping, web GIS. And that is, inside ArcGIS Online and in all of the other tools based on the ArcGIS platform, including ArcGIS Pro, you and I have the capability of using the Sentinel-2 imagery from the European Space Agency. Now, in order to do that, it's essential to understand what you're working with. So I encourage you to go to the ESA site and look at the Sentinel-2 data. Look at the metadata there. Look at the bands that the sensors are detecting and read up on that. Also, read up on the imagery inside ArcGIS Online. It tells you that Sentinel-2 is a 10-meter, multi-spectral, multi-temporal, 13-band image. So you've got lots of capabilities at your fingertips looking at the spectral bands inside the Sentinel-2 data. The nice thing is that there's an image service that you have the capability of tapping into. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to look at a current event, namely the eruptions that are happening in the Big Island of Hawaii and we're going to use the Sentinel-2 data to examine that. One more moment before we do that. Take a look at these multispectral bands. We're going to look at the shortwave infrared number two, shortwave number one, and also blue. So we're going to look at 12, 11, and 2. And we're going to be able to see some amazing things. Last but not least, this is the metadata page for the Sentinel-2 imagery. We're going to look at a geology with DRA dynamic range adjustment. And so you can read about that on the metadata page inside ArcGIS.com. Let's get started. So if I go to a map inside ArcGIS Online and I create a new map and then I add data, I'm going to add data from the Living Atlas. So therefore I need to be actually logged in to ArcGIS Online. I need to have a subscription there. And so once you've got one, you can go ahead and add the Sentinel-2 views as I've done here. Now, Sentinel-2 is global and it's updated frequently as you can read about on the metadata page. So, for example, if I wanted to look at, uh, let's say, Dallas, Texas, and see changes across the landscape from urbanization, I've got a bookmark set there. I've also got a bookmark at Arenal Volcano in Costa Rica where I've actually visited a couple of times. Fascinating place on the planet. But for our topic today, we're going to look at Hawaii. Also, I wanted to show you two things related to that. Number one, I've got a filter set up. My filter is acquisition date on May 23, 2018. So 23 May 2018. So that's my filter because I want to look at that date and you'll see why in a minute. So I've got a filter applied and also if I go to image display, notice I've got this natural color with DRA right now. I want to show geology with DRA, which is what we just examined briefly in the metadata. Uh, the symbology type to stretch, and I'm going to apply that. Now I'm going to go to my bookmark and go to zoom in a little bit closer so I can see, wow, look at that. So this is what geology with DRA does. It lets us look at uh, changes across the earth, especially with this shortwave infrared. It lets us examine the lava flows from the eruption. Now they're not actually yellow um, in the visible spectrum, but here in this geology with DRA, they're flowing across in this particular area as you can see. I can use the measure tools for example to measure across there. So let's say we wanted to measure and I'm going to measure a distance and I'm going to measure it in kilometers. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this ever so slightly. Now let's let's just trace along there. Six point four one kilometers from that rift, which you can see in this image, down to the coast. And I've got several different rivers, as you can see here. So let's just change this back to natural color for a moment and apply that. Now you can see that with natural color, you really can't detect what we were detecting. So again, the power of imagery, the power of looking at different spectral bands and knowing what you're looking at, 
and that extends to lots of other topics in remote sensing that we can look at these uh, and analyze these images to figure out vegetation health, biodiversity loss, invasive species, uh, changes in soil chemistry, and so much more. But in this case, we're looking at geology with DRA to examine the recent eruptions there in Hawaii. You can, you can see even from here we've got some, some cloud cover as well that's visible in this part of the spectrum. Could be because of the eruption itself. It looks likely. Looks like that's where the clouds are emanating from. We don't know for sure without further investigation, but it is fascinating to be able to look at this, isn't it? If I zoom in here and I change the base map using the base map tools to open street map, let's take a look at exactly where this flow is happening. Oh, look at that. That is just amazing. And look at this fissure. And then let's go ahead and make this a little bit transparent. And now we can see exactly where this is. You can see these different fissures on the open street map. And then you can see where exactly this is. Turn this off for the moment. So we're going to drop a map note right here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and. Okay. How far are we from Hilo? There's Hilo. So we are. Let's use that measure tool again. About 36 kilometers from Hilo. Let's go ahead and turn that image back on. And on the open street map, you can even see the 1992 to 2017 flows. So we are northeast of the flow from last year and you can see the development in here you can see the the housing developments that are close by this area let's turn this back on really interesting Last thing, let's change that base map to imagery with labels. Let's go ahead and turn off the, let's make that opaque, the Sentinel-2 views. And now I'm going to actually toggle back and forth. You can see that things look relatively calm when this particular image was flown. But now it's anything but calm. It's going right through this, this housing development, as you can see right here. Right through that housing development. And the fissure is actually affecting this housing development. And then, of course, with the same tools, you can add other layers. You can add biodiversity. You can add population density. You can add historical over the last month earthquakes etc easy to do in ArcGIS online just add that sentinel 2 imagery and now what I can do is I can save as and it's going to be saved in my account it's going to be saved in my own zone inside ArcGIS online and if I shared that with you you don't even have to add the image all you have to do is open my map so I'll give you the URL in a moment for the map that I've saved thanks